a vape explodes in a woman's face, causing severe injuries. So here we go again with the media reporting a story without understanding how vape technology works and how some products are safer than others. So what the media is reporting right now is that a woman came into a store called The Vapor Shop and they're located on Harlem Road in McChesney Park in Chicago. So she came in complaining that her battery was malfunctioning. So the vape shop changed the battery for her. After the battery was changed, she took a hit and the battery exploded. It caused serious injury to her face, it caused tooth damage, and it set a nearby desk on fire. The vapor shop hasn't said anything about the situation yet, stating that they would like to speak to their lawyer first. So this is about all we know uh, for this story. But So here's what I can gather from, from what has been told. In my mind, there are one of two things that could have gone wrong. She's using a mech mod, and there was user error, either on her part or on the part of the vape shop. And whatever that user error was, it caused a hard short and the battery exploded. Now if this is the case, this story should not be reported as being caused by a vape pen because a vape pen is totally different than a mech mod. Mech mods do not have safety features and the only people who use them should know the risks. Now let's say it really was a vape pen or a regulated device. This story says that the vape shop replaced the battery. If this vape shop actually took apart a regulated device that was malfunctioning and replaced the battery, these guys are not only stupid, but they're screwed they're going to get sued. They should have told her that she should throw it away or send it to the manufacturer. Either way, the media is going to portray this as, as something like all vape devices are dangerous, which they obviously aren't. But, you know, this is just a case of somebody doing something stupid that could have been prevented. Okay, so if you can't tell, uh, I'm still wearing a white shirt, but um, this is a different day. I had to come back in here and do an update. So there, there has been an update on the story, and uh, I just want to share some of my notes here. So uh, based on the response from whoever manages their Google business listing, it turns out that the, the woman who was injured was actually the owner's daughter. Uh, they say it was a faulty battery, but I don't think they have any way to prove that. Um, maybe it was but these cases are almost always the result of user error. Um, they also say that she was using a sub-ohm tank on a mech mod, but they've never said what that device was. All they've said is that it was a high-ohm tank and that she's been using the same setup for years with no issues. And they say that she's an experienced vapor who has worked in a vape shop. Um, either way, I feel bad for the lady and for her family. Um, a lot of people say that sub-ohm tanks are okay on regular mech mods, but everyone agrees that tanks are not safe on hybrid mech mods. Uh, I don't know if she was using a hybrid mech mod, but even if you have a regular mech, I do think that there are some increased risks with using a tank, mostly because of pre-built coils, and the the tanks, the pre-built coils in tanks, they're just susceptible to manufacturing defects. Um, for example, the resistance of the coils might not be built according to what they say on the packaging. The coils might fluctuate while firing and uh, the pre-built coils, they might be damaged before you even install it. Now that's just my opinion. A lot of people use tanks on, on regular mechs, but I personally don't. Um, I've, se I've just seen way too many shorts happen with uh, my own tanks while using them on regulated devices, so I won't use them on, on mech mods. Anyway, in response to this, the store owner has discarded every mech mod in their store, um, trying to prevent anyone else from ever having to deal with something like this, and uh, they're just hoping for their daughter to have a quick recovery, and I hope so too.